All right, guys, what we're going to do now is we are going to change our gun from the, the default one, if I just push play and pick it up, this default gun to our own custom one. And any custom gun that you have, a 3D model that you might have created or downloaded, whatever, um, this will work for. So uh, let's get started. So I'm going to go to my content drawer. And first things first, I want to import the model that I want to use. Um, I've actually already created a folder over here, so I'll just delete that. So we're starting right from the beginning. So in my content folder, where everything is, I'm going to right click, create a new folder, and I'm going to call it Blaster. Uh, in here, I'm going to go to Import, and I'm going to go to the Blaster model. Um, that's in the you know the folder that you would have downloaded for the um, project and push open. So at this point, normally what we've done so far is we've just hit import all, um, which is absolutely fine for things that are static meshes, which is everything we've done so far. But this, we actually need it to be a skeletal mesh um, because the original gun is a skeletal mesh. Um, this is kind of a bit of an a bit of an awkward way of doing it uh, because our model, I know I've just done it as basic as possible by just bringing in a 3D model. It doesn't have a skeleton, it doesn't have a rig or anything like that. Uh, it's just a model. So I'm going to click skeletal mesh to turn it on, and I'm going to use the skeletal mesh or the skeleton that is within the current gun. So I'm going to click that. Then I'm going to click import all. And it's going to tell me that it can't merge the bones because, uh, you know, it, it doesn't match up with the, the original one. Don't worry too much about that. Um, it is still going to work, even though it's going to tell us that it can't do it. So I'm just going to hit yes to all. And then it's going to say, would you like to do this? And I'm going to say yes. And then it's going to tell me it's failed to merge it. That's fine, though. Don't worry. Just push, push OK. Get rid of the message log. Go to our content drawer, let's just dock that. Um, and I can see that I do have the blaster model, which is there, and it has the pink line underneath it, which is the code for uh, skeletal mesh. So it is there, it's in my game, and it is a skeletal mesh, so I can use it. Um, and then, of course, here's the materials for it, which um, you can change to customize the materials on the gun should you wish to. Um, now what I want to do is replace the uh, the gun. So I'm going to go back to content and I'm going to go to first person blueprints and here you'll see the blueprint for the uh, the template gun. So let's double click that to open it. Um, the event graph, um, I went here earlier on in the another tutorial to get rid of the sound because I didn't want to destroy your ears, uh, but that's the event graph. In the viewport we can see, there it is, the lovely default gun. So what I'm going to do, um, I, well, I'll show you what I'm not going to do first. I'm not going to select this and just change the skeletal mesh here to the blaster. Don't do that. Okay. What you need to do instead is add a new skeletal mesh. There we go. So now skeletal mesh one. And here we're going to plug in the blaster. Okay. Now this model that I've got, the scale is wrong. You know, the position is wrong, everything's wrong. So if it was all positioned perfectly to just replace this one, then I could have just done it there, but it doesn't. OK, and for most people that are bringing in, you know, their own 3D model or something they've found that they want to use, it's not going to match up perfectly. So this is the way to do it. Um, so now what I can do is I'm just going to reposition it. So I'm going to rotate it 180. Scale it up a bit and just use the other gun as kind of a guide, like a reference, so that the position is kind of right. The main thing I always think, whoops, that you want to focus on matching is the position of the handles because that's where obviously the hand is holding the gun. All right, around there, fine for now. Okay, so match it up as best you can. Then, obviously, we don't have to want two guns at once, so select the original gun. Go over here to Skeletal Mesh and just clear that away. Okay, so then you're left with your new one. I know what you're probably thinking, 
that kind of looks way worse than the other one but you know it fits in better with um this kind of low poly style that we've got with our game okay so that's it um we still have two skeletal meshes but that's fine it is only using this skeletal mesh which is our imported gun so i'm going to compile that so that it's saved um, and this also does take some testing and tweaking so if we push play you can see obviously that the gun has updated to this one if i pick it up um, that looks okay i'm just going to get rid of this guy so i can test it a bit better do you know what that looks almost perfect straight away the thumb i can see is slightly going into the gun a bit so at that point if yours looks a bit weird and you need to change the position um, go back to first person blueprints rifle there we go and we can just sort of tweak the position a bit so i think i just wanted to move it mine over a little bit that way something like that a minor change test that again there you go that looks fine that looks great and you can see it operates in exactly the same way it's continuing to use the animations and everything for the recoil and stuff um, and we've just customized that to our own our own gun i might actually move it slightly forward um, how does that look cool yeah i'm happy with that i'll do for now anyway um, some other tweaks so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to my in city models is where i had all my glowing materials i want a glowing green for my gun so just a reminder on this one from the materials we could just duplicate one of those glowing ones call it glow green this time open that guy up change it to a nice bright green uh, turn up the glow a bit save that okay let's go back to my rifle and then that green material i want to replace with a nice glowing one glowing green there we go great and obviously you can customize that how you like cool a bit more interesting now what i'm also going to show you how to do is change what's actually firing this projectile Okay, so if we go back to the content drawer again, go back to first person blueprints, and next to rifle, you would have seen this one, which is the projectile itself. So let's double click this one. Obviously, there's the way that it works. Back to viewport. Here we go. So um, I don't like how large it is, so I'm actually going to scale it down. Oh, at this point, I'm going to turn off the snapping for scaling because that's annoying okay a bit smaller and i'm also going to change the material to my glowing green material so it fires like a green ball glowing green ball cool again let's just test how that looks so far cool i like that a bit better but also what i don't like is how um not very powerful it is i want it to be more powerful so what i'm going to do again let's go back to the projectile um, and this time you want to go to the projectile movement um, and the only two things in here you need to worry about really at the moment is this initial and max speed um, you can see they're the same by default and i tend to like to keep them the same when i'm using this so i want that to be more powerful so 3000 let's change it to 10,000. give that a go again this is going to be one of those trial and error things to until it's how you like it um, but that is a lot more powerful obviously the bouncing is kind of annoying um, so let's go back again first person projectile um, <laughs> Uh, bear with me just a moment. Okay, um, just wanted to double check that. But um, there's well, there's a couple of things you can do really. So in the projectile movement, um, you do have this thing here called should bounce. So if you turn that off and click compile, 
you can push play and what will happen is it'll fire but it'll kind of like stick to things um, which is fine I suppose if you wanted to, to do that um, but if you want it to just disappear or just destroy itself when it hits something um, basically in the script all you need to do is get rid of oops all of this basically all the stuff in the middle so if we just move that all down um, if you alt click these guys it can break them and all we actually want it to do is skip all of this stuff and just go straight from when it hits something destroy itself just immediately that's all it's doing so it simplifies that a lot click compile there so now when I push play I can pick up my gun fire and then you know when it hits something it just it just disappears okay and also I can still destroy these guys all right so that just makes that a bit more unique compared to that original um, default weapon all right so I'm um, just trying to think what else we could um, change here I think that's probably everything let me have a think and see if there's anything else I can show you before I end the video okay I think that's probably fine for now I think what we've done is we've managed to change the gun to um, any 3d model of any other gun that you want to replace that uh, initial template model with um, we've adjusted the um, the projectile um, so you can customize that however you like um, you can customize the materials for the gun that I've given you as well um, to make it unique uh, if you wanted to go beyond this obviously you could start looking at um, the way that the gun fires so you could have it more of a, like a um, um, like machine gun or like well anything as you can imagine I suppose but that's gonna adjust, be adjusting the script um, so that's something that was going to be a bit more advanced but I want to keep this for beginners so if you want to look into that then you can start investigating that into so with, you know use some other tutorials and then implement that into this um, but yeah that's all for now